good morning children uh, what we are discussing in this uh, chapter that is food and digestion already I explained you different kinds of food which we take in our daily life that is energy giving food uh, body building food and protective food along with this water and rough edges also we take in our diet is it so now what is a balanced diet the food which contains all these food items or food components in a proper proportion is called a balanced diet understood now what happens to the food which we eat where it goes how this food journey starts journey of a food the journey of food starts with our mouth with our mouth so as soon as we eat something as soon as we eat something the food starts its journey isn't it through our digestive system through our digestive system here see now each organ in the digestive system has its own job has its own job so here each organ of the digestive system has its own job but all the organs work together all the organs work together so that the process of digestion takes place smoothly what are the organs of the digestive system you are see you are seeing this mouth our digest journey of food starts with the mouth food pipe see it stomach small intestine large intestine recta and this is what you call it anus these are the organs of a digestive system this these are the organs of digestive system so each organ each each organ of the digestive system has its own job its own job so but all the organs work together work together so that the process of digestion takes place smoothly now here you will see what is a digestion what is a digestion the process of breaking down of food into simpler substances which our body can absorb easily is called digestion what is digestion the process of breaking down of simple substances which the body can easily absorb but is called digestion isn't it so what are the food we are taking the food our digestion begins with the mouth our digestion begins with the mouth what is there which part of this inside the jaws what is present which help in grinding the food when immediately when you keep the food in mouth what happens our teeth starts its function helps in chewing the food thoroughly and makes it into simpler pieces it makes into simpler pieces and what is produ produced in the salivary glands are there the salivary glands produces the saliva in the mouth which helps the food to make it into a Uh, which helps in breaking down the food into simpler substances that is what you call it starch that is what you call it starch and starch that into sugar that's why it tastes sweet after some time it tastes sweet also isn't it so our digestion begins with the mouth our digestion begins with the mouth immediately when you keep the food in our mouth our teeth starts grinding the food and uh, makes it into simpler substances breaks down into finer uh, fine pieces and the saliva is produced by the salivary glands which helps in mixing of the food thoroughly in our mouth you have to chew the food thoroughly what happens when you chew the food thoroughly it starts converts into sugars that's why after some time when you chew the food thoroughly it makes sweet taste it gives you sweet taste so here the digestion is start here some enzymes are there which enzymes gives you the sweet taste that is amylase enzyme is produced isn't it which gives you sweet taste in the in our mouth okay so here our digestion starts with the mouth so next part of the digestive system now the food is chewed thoroughly and uh, it is it uh, breaks into simpler 
pieces, uh, simple surfaces, very small pieces. Then what happens? This chamber of food, food, this chamber of food passes through the food pile into the stomach. Into the stomach, the food is passes through the esophagus. Here there is no digestion takes place. The food is passes how due to contraction and relaxation of the esophagus muscles. Passes into the stomach. So here, what is it? What is this food pipe? Is nothing but an esophagus. It is also called as esophagus. It is also called as esophagus. It is also called as esophagus. Esophagus, esophagus connects mouth to the stomach. Esophagus connects mouth to stomach. Esophagus connects mouth to esophagus, or you can call it a food pipe. Which connects mouth to esophagus. The food simply passes through the esophagus due to contraction and relaxation of the muscles in the esophagus. Understood? So now here the food enters into the stomach. Then what happens in the stomach? Here the swallowed food is mixed thoroughly in the stomach, grind thoroughly in the stomach, churned thoroughly in the stomach. And in the stomach, the digestive juices are produced. In the stomach, digestive juices are produced. These digestive juices helps in grinding the food thoroughly. The digestive juices also mix up thoroughly with the grinding process. Now, here in the stomach, only acid also produced. This acid helps in killing of the bacteria which enters through the food. The acid kills the bacteria which enters the, during the process in the digestion. Okay. So the food now looks like a semi-solid. It is like a ball. Semi-solid ball. It is what you call it chyme. It is called as a chyme and partially digested food. Partially digested food. So here what happens here in the stomach the Food which enters into the stomach through the swallowed food enters into the stomach and it mixes thoroughly like a mixer. How we keep something to grind it in the mixer jar and you switch on what happens? It grinds continuously it is to make it into a paste. In the same way, in the stomach also the digestive juices are produced and the food will be grinded thoroughly in the stomach. The food will be grind churned, it churned thoroughly in the stomach and it produces the acids also it produces the acid which kills the bacteria this is semi it becomes a ball semi solid ball isn't it the food is partially digested here in the stomach it partially digested in the stomach and it is what you call it thick this is what you call it chyme what do you call it chyme it is called as a now, the food is digested here, partially digested food enters into small intestine. It enters into the small intestine and the digestion completes here. The digestion is completed here in this part of the digestive system. So, the partly digested food is enters into the small intestine. What happens? More digestive Juices are added in the small intestine. More digestive juices are added here and the digestion of the food is completed here. And the digestion of food is completed here. The partially digested food is enters into the small intestine. In the small intestine, the digestion ends here and it produces the digestive Juices. Here the digestion is completed. Now the food is the the food is now in a liquid state, liquid form, and can enters into the blood through the walls of the small intestine, and the blood circulate this digested food to each and every cell of the body to get energy. To get energy. Understood? Now. So, digestion of the food is completed in the small intestine. Next part of the small intestine, the digestive system is a large intestine. In the large intestine, and 
digested food enters and digested food enters into the large intestine here most of the water is absorbed back from the food into the body most of the water is absorbed back into the body understood the undigested food is passed into the rectum it is stay for some time and it is thrown out from the anus excreted through the anus this is a rectum after digest uh, this uh, in the large intestine undigested food is there